the tesla coil as we know today was invented by a man called nikola tesla the first tesla coil was the size of a building thanks to modern technology especially semiconductors with the help of which we can build one the size of our palm nikola tesla believed he could wirelessly power the entire world with his new invention but it was not possible due to the limited amount of energy transfer but his idea gave birth to long distance communications like radios and mobile phones anyways let's get started with our actual video of our mini tesla coil kit on opening the package you will see 12 different components the first is the coil itself then is the pcb the transistor the switch heatsink for the transistor some screws and some spacers a one microfarad ceramic capacitor a blue led a neon bulb a 10k resistor and a 5mm dc jack the best part of this kit is the pcb because it is well built and the primary winding is placed inside it then we have the power transistor in this kit we are being provided with bd 243c power transistor a transistor is basically a switch which converts dc into high frequency ac according to its data sheet it can handle up to 6 to 10 amps but at max power it will be extremely hot and it works at a frequency of 3 megahertz anyways let's start with the testing of our tesla coil for making the secondary winding you will have to use 30 swg wire which is around 0.25 millimeters in diameter and you have to make around 320 windings if you don't want to buy this as a kit then you can design it on a piece of ferro board by following the circuit diagram the components are easily available in your nearest electronic shops since all components are of dht type it will be easier to solder them onto ferro board the only problem you will face is while making the secondary winding other than that this project is super easy to build now let's test the mini tesla coil for that i am using a 9 volt rechargeable battery if you want to review about this then please drop down a comment and i will make the video by the way it can be charged with micro usb cable okay let's start it's connected now let me turn on the switch the blue light indicates that the mini tesla coil is powered on now as you can see it works pretty good but if you run it for a long time the mosfet gets pretty hot so this is not for continuous use use it for 5 to 10 minutes then turn it off otherwise the ic will sorry the mosfet will burn especially if you are making arcs out of it though the arcs are not very powerful I have attached the Tesla coil to the under side of my table. You can trick anyone by using this trick. The Tesla coil is over there. If I take this neon bulb, then it will light up. 
like this. It does seem like magic. But actually there is a Tesla coil underneath the table. This mini Tesla coil can light up this small neon bulb but it can also light up a bigger CFL bulb. This is a 27 watt one. It can even light up this one. See. Wait, let me turn off the lights. Now you can see it is dark and I am bringing it close to the Tesla coil. It lights up pretty good. Though it's not the full brightness. But it's awesome. You can also try this by placing the tesla coil underneath your table and placing the light on the top of your table just above the tesla coil it will light up okay now for measuring the voltage we need to measure the initial spark gap As you can see, the spark gap is about 0.1 centimeters. To calculate the voltage of the mini Tesla coil, we need to use a simple formula which is voltage is equal to length of the initial spark gap in centimeters. It should be initial, the length should be of the initial spark gap. A multiplied by 30,000 as from the experiment we found it to be 0.1 centimeters which on calculation gives 3000 volts which is pretty impressive in case of this mini Tesla coil since I'm able to touch the sparks through a conductor the frequency of these sparks is well over 20,000 Hertz due to the In case of TC, the current flows through the entire cross section of the wire, which is pretty efficient, which is very very efficient, since it, since it uses the entire cross section. But in case of AC, the scenario changes. As the frequency of the alternating current increases, the current starts flowing through the outer surface of the conductor which increases the resistance and is pretty inefficient. This phenomenon is called skin effect. In case of humans, the skin effect is very advantageous because at frequencies above 20 kilohertz, the current starts flowing through the outer layer of the skin and not the inner layer without messing with our nerves. So we don't feel the pain. But if the arcs jump directly to our skin, then it will burn the area which it touches. Links for buying this mini Tesla kit is given in the video description as usual. I would personally recommend you to give it a try because of its low price. It has a custom PCB. It runs on 9 to 12 volts DC. It creates decent sparks and has a very good build quality. The only downside of it is it gets pretty hot 
while operating other than that it's perfectly fine if i would give it a rating out of 5 then i would give it 4.5 out of 5 that's it for this video please like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one thank you